Jeff Saperstone live in our newsroom. Jeff, a lot of video coming in overnight. What are we seeing? Yeah, we're seeing some extensive damage in spots. Helene, again, now in Georgia, where two people are dead from a tornado there that was spawned by the storm. Overnight, that storm made landfall as a Category 4 in Florida's Big Bend region, and the NBC News crew was live on the air when it moved in. So anyone who is out here, presumably not a first responder, and should not be out on the roads. These lights are really picking up right now. We got some debris flying. We're going Holy back inside. Cow. Guys, we're going to head back in. Just shows you the danger of that situation in Perry, Florida, near some of the strongest winds of 140 miles per hour. You're looking at other scenes from the Tampa area where a driver was killed after a sign fell onto a car, a boat, as you can see on the road there, as water just rushed right in. And in Cedar Key, a storm surge of more than 10 feet was reported in that area. You can see water pouring onto the streets. That town already hit by two other hurricanes in recent memory. Want to show you some brand new video we just got into the newsroom. Severe flooding. You could see right here the water up to the roof line of some of these homes right here. This is in the Big Bend area of Florida. We have learned that 40 people have been rescued from rising waters just north of Tampa as well. The state is ready as soon as this storm passes and it's safe to do so uh, to commence uh, search and rescue operations. We have uh, 3,500 National Guardsmen standing by. We have our state guards standing by. And more than a million and a half homes and businesses are without power right now in Florida and Georgia. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Sapperstone, NBC10 Boston. Jeff, thank you. Let's get to NBC10's Alicia Palumbo now. She's live at Logan Airport. Alicia, Massachusetts isn't sitting idly by while the storm impacts the southern U.S. How are they taking action? Yeah, that's right, Raul. Well, we just caught up with a member of the Red Cross from Massachusetts who's here at Logan Airport right now. She's going to be taking a flight out this morning. She is actually watching these boards very closely, hoping that her flight from Logan to Jacksonville doesn't end up as part of the growing list of cancellations and delays today. There are currently 23 cancellations and 29 delays into or out of Logan. About 15 members of the local Red Cross are already down in Florida and Georgia or headed down this morning to help people affected by the hurricane. They joined 45 members from Massachusetts its task force, one who already flew down there to help with inland flooding and other potential issues stemming from Hurricane Helene. Both groups of volunteers will be providing humanitarian aid to thousands of people, including medical supplies, and driving around impacted communities with trucks filled with hot meals, water, and blankets. Every disaster is a little bit different. However, the Red Cross does have a playbook that we operate from. You know, we know kind of what the needs are going to be and what the challenges are going to be sometimes. And then, you know, it's also, it's a very fluid situation. Um, but again, pre-positioning supplies, warehouses that have pallets of water, um, cots, things like that, that helps with shelters. Now, as the scramble to get out of here and down there to help out continues this morning, they tell us that they expect to be down there for about two weeks to help out, but it could end up being longer depending on the impact of Hurricane Helene. For now, we're live at Logan Airport. Alicia Palumbo, NBC10 Boston. Alicia, we wish them all the best in their efforts. You can get the latest on Helene by downloading the NBC10 Boston app. Just scan the QR code right here on your screen and you'll have access to the latest radar. You can set up to get severe weather alerts for where you live.